folks this is Rainer here and welcome to trading with Rainer so this will be my video analysis for the this upcoming week and some of the pairs I'll be looking at this week will be the dollar yen the euro dollar dollar Canadian New Zealand dollar and lastly some gold and silver products so let's look at the dollar yen the weekly chart alright so what do we see well, this week the dollar yen managed to gap up higher, rarely, and finally giving back most of the gains but still closing up higher for the week. So, my long bias, I'm still long bias for most of the yen pairs, so meaning I expect the yen to further weaken in the upcoming week. So, looking for longs on the dollar yen, let's look at the forward chart and see what opportunities we have. Looking at the 4 hour, I would say the 96.500 would be a level to look for longs. Possibly looking at some bullish reversal patterns like the pin bar, the engulfing pattern. For those who want more information on it, you can actually look at my trading links on my website. And I've come up with a couple of videos that explain further what I look at for the candlestick patterns. So, yep. Yeah, so dollar yen, 96,500 would be a level I'm looking at. The next pair I'll be looking at will be the euro dollar. Look at the weekly chart, you can see that 31,200 is a level. To look out for so as we can see here some support sorry resistance resistance you yeah, look at the daily a bit clearer let me look at the daily chart right so yeah the daily you can see resistance 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 broke out resistance came back broke through resistance turn support rally up again and finally holding here and here we are again at 31 200 so what do I think will happen in the upcoming week? To be frank, I have no idea whether you're really upwards or you'll fall downwards. But nonetheless, the game plan will be very simple. If it rarely hires, you look for a pullback to go long at the 31200. If it falls further, you look for pullback to look for a retracement to the 31200 before shorting it. So if it really hires and pullback, we look for bullish reversal patterns. If it falls, and we trace back to the 31 200 we will look for bearish reversal patterns so yep that's for the euro dollar the next pair i'll be looking at would be the new zealand dollar okay let's take a look at it so weekly chart has shown that clearly the new zealand dollar has broken out of its resistance so as we can see here resistance resistance and finally it broke out of its resistance so in other words, I have a long bias on the New Zealand dollar right now. And again, I'll look entry on the 4 hour chart. So similar story to the dollar yen. I'll probably look for a retracement down towards the 8500 level. And look for a bullish reversal pattern. Could be a pin bar or an engulfing pattern. Yeah. So whichever appears and whichever price action comes out, either the pin bar or the bullish, engulfing pattern I'll go for long however do take note that I won't simply just trade a pin bar or an engulfing pattern that appears it has to be larger relative to the prior candles which signifies more force and momentum behind the reversal signals yes and next the next pair I'll be looking at would be the dollar Canadian you can see pretty clear that on the weekly chart the 0050 is a support level eh? very obvious so so you can see here and I'm expecting this level to hold so I'll look for long opportunities over there so on the daily chart we can see here here support broken support oh, sorry resistance resistance it broke out of it coming back and anticipating this level to hold so again same story looking for a bullish candlestick pattern either a pin bar or engulfing pattern and lastly another and lastly, the last interesting pair I'd like to look at is actually the gold. Because something spectacular happened on Friday. Let's look at the chart of gold. You can see that gold previously has... The 1530 has been a support level. See, one time, two time, three time. So most people are watching this level, the 1530. And what happened on Friday? Pop. We have a strong bearish momentum towards the downside. A strong close below the support level so what's happening so basically 
there's no demand on that level anymore and the seller just came in through and pushed it down through that level. So I have a short bias on this right now and to play this, I will look for price to further tank and come back up to test this level and hopefully forming a bearish pin bar or engulfing pattern. So yep, this is what I'll be expecting for gold. Similar story for silver as well, you know, you can see here. However, silver has not breached the support level at 26, so, you know, still pending, you know, awaiting further confirmation. But gold has already clearly broken out of the support level. So, yep, these are the analyses for this week, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, you'll never trade alone, and you're always trading with Rainer.